Alright guys, welcome back. We have another topic at hand. Apparently, Microsoft is possibly going to be laying off about 7,800 jobs of people for their um, cell phone brand that hasn't been doing so well for them on the Nokia side, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So again, this is just like little brief news that we have. We don't have that much detail on it. Um, there has been articles out there saying like it just hasn't been working for them it hasn't been ga gaining any profit ever since they um, Done the whole merging up with Nokia and stuff like that. So um, And and uh, NGO on your knees has a little bit more uh, Info on it. So I'm gonna let him somewhat lead into the topic and then we'll talk of a uh, discussion with it It's true. Oh, I'm just looking up some definition. So uh, apparently um they're using the word impairment charts, impairment charts to describe this, which is uh, the new term for running off worthless goodwill. So essentially, they, they threw away $7.4 billion at Nokia. It's what, essentially, is what's happened. Uh, the, the Microsoft bought Nokia a few years back. Uh, that was a rather recent purchase. And it's not going well for them. And now the article's frozen on me for some reason. But um, it looks like this is all related to Nokia. Um, I don't think it's the entire cell phone branch like I originally thought it was. But uh, yeah, the market share for Windows phones is pathetic. As a quarter one this year, it's only 2.7%, with Android having 78%, Apple 18.3%, and a BlackBerry with a paltry 0.3%. Um, so all in all, this looks like uh, Microsoft did another Time Warner when they bought AOL. Uh, didn't work out for them. Uh, no one wants Windows phones. See, so that, that makes more sense now since you brought that yeah. to my attention. So, what I will lead off with the topic is, do you think Microsoft should keep this Nokia brand and still pursue the mobile market since, since they already have their hands in it? Or do you think they should just pass up on it and just move on to something different, uh, all in all in general? I, I think they should abandon Windows phones. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a bust. Uh, Windows 8 was a mess, at least Windows 8.0. 8.1, from what I hear, is not too bad. I stayed on Windows 7, um, mm. but they, this whole mobile thing blew up in their face because no one was ready to adopt it on a, on a home desktop or business desktop. Uh, they tried to push it way too soon, but that tends to happen with Windows. Every other operating system blows or, or, or fails miserably. ME, Vista, and now Windows 8. Every other one tends to blow. Um, so that's my opinion on it. They, they Because Nokia... They make sturdy phones for the most part. They're, they're just the internet meme while, a while back where, yeah, here's my Nokia. It goes through brick walls, so that sort of thing. Right. Uh, but, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense just to dump the whole brand. Um, they just start selling um, Android, Android phones, make some money there. Uh, I don't think they'll find a buyer for Nokia, at least anywhere near what they paid for it. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, the article keeps blowing up on me, and I don't know how to make this work. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what Chrome is acting up on. But uh, yeah, so they're they're blowing a whole bunch of money on that, and that all the layoffs have to do with the Nokia purchase. Oh. So it's, it's not affecting their gaming division. So no issues on that side of things. Okay, okay. So uh, Noob, what do you feel that Microsoft should do? You think they should try to still continue this uh, cell what? phone thing, or so you think that they should? You're give breaking it up? all the way. I can't hear any. Can Fix you your hear internet? Me? Can you hear me? Hear me. I am talking Hello? as clear as I can. Okay, now I can hear you. You were breaking up really bad. That's you, so you weird. said, what do I think about it? Yeah, what do you think about uh, the whole Microsoft thing with uh, the cell phone market? Do you think they should still keep it, or do you think they should abandon it? Um, they, oh my god, that's just nasty what I just saw. They have... <sighs> Sometimes you gotta know when to cut your losses. Finance, fiscally, I don't know how bad it is. Um, if they do relaunch it, they I would take you know a year or two off, check out the competition, see what's trending, see what's popular, see what features are necessary, and integrate it properly. They're kind of they need to they need to take the Apple approach. Like Apple has an ecosystem: iPad, iPhone, MacBooks. You know what I mean? All that stuff works very well together. And it's kind of like you know everyone has PCs with Windows. Okay, well a lot of people have PCs with Windows. Okay, 
people have Xboxes. Okay, hey, let's integrate those two things. You know, and now you just had this phone sitting out here on the island with no help. That could be the third piece in creating a Windows 10 ecosystem, but they're going to have to launch it properly. Even if that means, hey, you know, being on one of those, hey, you know, you sign up with a new phone plan, get a free, you know, Windows phone or whatever, and integrate it. Even Sony does that with the Xperia phone. It's linked with the PlayStation, so you can, like, stream the games to your phone, kind of like you can do with the PSP. So it could work. But the likelihood of it working, I don't know, because that people are loyal to their devices. Like, I'm Android all day, every day. I love it. I'm staying with it. I'm not switching because I have to, if I go to Apple, I got to get into the Apple ecosystem because I think it's pointless to have one Apple device. You should have at least two if you want to get the most out of everything. So mm-hmm. it could work, but it's, it's, it's a matter of do y'all want to take the chance to invest more time and money into something that people may or may not buy. Okay, that's a good answer. Uh, real quick, um, Dio Sun has mentioned as a quote <coughs> from an article, as the company will no longer be home to secure careers for full-time and contract employees alike. It seems like they're trimming the fat from that statement. Uh, he also said that the Windows 10 will make you want uh, Windows phones. Um, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, Microsoft has had a nasty reputation of disappointment. Uh, but I like my Androids. You know, it's just like a noob said, people are, are used to their own devices. Mm-hmm. It, it would have to give me hand jumps in order to want to make me switch. <laughs> this fucking guy. All right, with that being said, uh, K. Simi, what do you have uh, to speak on with Microsoft and their cell phone brand <clears throat> as a whole? Well, I mean, um, for them to stay in the mobile market, I mean, it. I don't think it'll hurt them. I mean, they're, they're not... You know, Mike, we all know Microsoft got a lot of money, so they really they're not really hurting to, to have this or not to have it. But I do think that it is about how they how they do integrate it with with the rest of their devices, with the Surface tablets and PCs and Xbox. I think that that could be a key, um, you know, factor in how that whole ecosystem works, because if just like what, what was said earlier about the, the Sony phones, the exterior phones, those I haven't seen an Xperia phone in the wild ever or a fucking Windows phone in the wild ever so but I mean if you give a gamer maybe you know if if a gamer has a reason to own that device you know I can play my Xbox one on this phone or I can play my PlayStation on this phone you could see how that could you know sway somebody one way or another Um, you know but again you know their phones aren't very popular I don't ever see them getting popular unless they like I said, you know, kind of moving into that Xbox, you know, ecosystem with Windows 10 and all of that. Um, but it'll be hard, man, because, you know, Android ain't going nowhere. Apple certainly ain't going nowhere. Um, I mean, you know, that we they we could use a third. You know, it's always in threes. You know, you got you got the iOS, you got Android. So, I mean, there is room for Windows, but, um, you know, they they're just fucking it up. So I think they could do better um, with the ecosystem and, and you know work it in with with the Xbox and gaming related. I think that's really their only hope. Okay, well, that sounds like a plan. Hopefully, Microsoft think to, uh, they can incorporate all three uh, devices with the PC, Xbox, and mobile. But um, Shin Sakuma, what do you have to say about this uh, cell phone thing that Microsoft has been having uh, trouble as of late? Android's better. Everybody knew that whole Microsoft phone thing was gonna go whack and drop and everything else. So if people who got an Android, stay with Android. If you got Apple, you need help. That's about it. <laughs> Damn. All right, he just said a statement. Uh, Shinwar, are you available? Yeah, he might not. Be. He doesn't sound like it. Yeah, is he, he, I think I think he's offline. His portrait's not over. No, it's it's normally like that. His portrait's not like that normally. Yeah. All right, so I guess we'll just skip him out on this topic for now. But um, any last uh, sayings or rebuttals about this uh, Microsoft mobile market, if they can uh, make a comeback when Windows 10 launches on the 29th of July? Bring oh, Zoom I- back. Oh, God, no. Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? <laughs> what? I haven't oh, heard that name in a long hey, time. I thought Zoom died. <laughs> Zoom died like eight years ago, right? <laughs> that shit was awful. Oh man, okay, yeah, that was my joker today. God damn. <laughs> so that's it, no one else has nothing to say on it. We should, we should end it on a high note. 
Okay, okay. All right, guys. I guess that would be the last thing of uh, to talk about topics. The next time we uh, talk about something will be PSAs. So we're just gonna do like a um, like a wrap up with everything else, and when we come back. So please like, rate, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Don't forget to check us out on Twitch. And don't forget about NewGamingOrder.com where we showcase all the latest news and information that happens around New Gaming Order. On that note, we'll be right back with the PSAs and closing out the podcast.